Okay, just a couple of um, what I've learned so far with the drone. Now, don't forget today here in Spain, it's about 28. The battery on the drone feels pretty, it's warmish on top, it's cold on the bottom. So I would expect that anyway, but I did notice with the screen, because obviously the screen's open to the sunlight, that got pretty hot. So that'll be interesting to see, uh, if, especially if I got three batteries, would it cope, would it shut down? But it hasn't really warmed up yet in here in Spain. I'm going to go out, obviously, I'm not going to want to do it, put it out in the 40s and see how it copes. And obviously they do say these batteries only cope up to 40 but we'll see how that, how that copes later on. But I did notice the screen was, well, the controller was pretty hot. Uh, and when my iPad gets really hot, it just shuts down. Now, obviously what would happen is that would return to home, officially. <laughs> but you know, these things do happen. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's a couple of things I had noticed is when the drone takes off, this is the mo maybe this is gonna be all updated later on i've noticed as the camera's on the ground sort of thing it's not focused directly in front of you and i did see quite a few well i hear quite a few on the videos about blurriness but i think if as long as you touch the screen the autofocus thing it goes straight in i noticed the other day as well when i was taking some photographs independently when i was pressing the button it didn't always react straight away so that's something else maybe that you've got to work on and they, they're pretty good, DJ, with um, watching people's videos and picking up some sort of hints. But other than that, I'm most impressed. Now, I did just try out the master. Forgot the name of it now. The Oh, wow. That's even amazing. And what it is, it's all the quick shots in one. Um, so you can go out, instead of just doing independent quick shots, you just press that master one and it does it all for you. <laughs> I think it lasts about two minutes and to me that's probably what I'll do because it tells you at the bottom the only thing I've noticed if you're recording the screen the setting the heights and the length is right on it and every time I tapped on it I didn't want to tap off the screen record because I want to show you guys what's going on on the screen as well so I left it mine's at 80 feet um, so I might sometimes not press the record and and see if i can alter the distances as well but yeah most impressed guys if you're thinking about getting a drone save your pennies up you're gonna love this, this thing i can see it's gonna be the best drone on the market for this year i can see this being a christmas present for the ones that have been waiting for a, a great drone this is a this has got it all it's got your avoidance at the front avoidance at the back underneath camera i haven't even done that yet the camera tilts the other way um got it so light it's quiet what 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 can i say bad against it other than they could have given me more batteries now I, another thing i will say i've only bought the controller and the drone the screen controller and the drone only i think to me 34 minutes is enough for me now i may later on in the year buy the combi pack i don't really need to because i've got loads of bags the mavic air 2 bag is massive i can put all my camera gear in there what i'm doing my videos on my um channel now as i've got my pocket 2 there that fits in there i've got my microphone that fits in there i can put some information because i always i don't know everything um i put that in there as well the only thing i can't put in there is obviously my tripod but on my walking stick i have actually got a camera fit in there so i could but the ground's so hard here i'll probably end up walk, breaking the stick but yeah guys i can see this maybe it's not for the professional photographer admittedly but i think for somebody like me or somebody that likes going out making vlogs and whatever else and taking pictures and video it's amazing now what you're going to see in the videos i don't do any messing about with the brightness filters and things like that what you see is what i take um sometimes obviously with the sun i'd i'm be interesting to see how the flickering uh and the glare affects this camera but i i'm not gonna buy the filters I, i've done all that years ago i bought all that sort of stuff and then i never used them 
um, you know, get the extendable legs. Um, I might buy something to protect the props and I'm putting it in the bag, but the bag's pretty big um, and it's pretty robust. And the Mini 2, I've never replaced the blades on that. You get a spare set, obviously, with this. Uh, and to be honest, I haven't even got it on me, so if I did destroy these, I'd have to go home because it's all at home because you need the screwdriver to replace the blades on it. But other than that, yeah, great drone. Mm -hmm.